Wait, wait. Hey guys, I'm back to the Angara Lego Goopa. Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilet. Let's see. Well, oh, Tunnel Trail. Tunnel Trail, things get worse. You know this chapter. Oh, Captain Underpants, Professor Poopy Pants, you remember? There was things get worse. A small story. There was only one word. And next chapter, even making a small story smaller. And there was a, and it was a last, the happy, the first happy ending, and it was the bad ending last. Chapter twelve. Things get worse. Will words be quickly due? The office. George and Harold have been suspended for teacher wash out of and cheer and have you two voice me. We're in big trouble now, quote Miss Antelope. I can't wait to call your parents and tell them the news. Let's take their desk outside and chalk them up, cried Miss Ribble. Let's throw the pot in the gym, shot Mr. Mr. Meaner. No, cried George. Whatever you do, don't. Open the door to the gym. We can do whatever we like. Don't open the door to the gym. We can't do whatever we like, snarled Mr. Meaner as he dashed over the gymnasium door. Look, I'm open. The door. He quickly opened the gym door. Now I'm closing the door, he said. Now I'm opening the door again. And now I'm... Ah! Nimble girl! The evil toilet has stuck in his mouth and swallowed him whole flesh. Way through the open gymnasium doors. Yum yum, eat him up! A toilet below. Yum yum. The... the they below yum yum eat them up ha 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 the teachers couldn't believe their oh, they screamed and ran over to leave mr cut and miss ribble lived on the mr cut and miss ribble and george and harold Remain frozen in the fear, watching the plaza wide, snapping her finger. Snap, bum, bum, go away, she, she cried, go away. A minute, was the toilet listen? They moved closer. Finally, Miss Rivel turned around. Mr. Crook Howler just stood there, and the uh, Jordan Howler looked up and, oh no, says Howler, did she? Just snap her fingers. Yes, yeah, sure. Now we really is are in trouble, and George was right. For that moment, Mister Crop began the chant, stirring the family before his toes, and some supplies. Mister Crop turned and dash. Off the Georgian hell ran after him. Why is Miss Ribble have to snap her fingers? Quite a, why? Never mind. Quite George. Mr. Club is turning into Captain Underpants. We've got poor water in it before it's too late. Chapter 13. It's too late. When Miss, when George and Harold reach Mr. Club's office, they found only his clothes. Look, said Harold, the window is missing. What can we do now? Asked Astrid. Do we have Captain Underpants or do we stay here to get eaten by the branch told it? Mm, let's think about it. That's one, said Harold. He climbed out the window.
George quickly collect Mr. Cro Mr. Crook and jump out of the window. After two boys sat down the flagpole and ran after Captain Rendipendent and think that's going, asked George. I have no idea, says Elba. We better run as fast as fast because I think we're being forward. After another pants dashed through the backyard and some nearby house, and he collected pairs of underwear and clothesline. Mommy, said the little boy. A boy looking out his window. A man with a red cape just stole our underwear. And now two boys being chased by pointy teeth. Yum, yum. Eat them up. Yeah, right, right now. Yeah, right now just gobble up. I am. Now two boys are being chased by the felidious looking toilet with the sharp pointy teeth. Screaming, yum, 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 eat them up. Yeah, right, laughed his mother. Just how gobble you, I'm think, thinking I am. Chapter 14, the talking to a takeover. Talking takeover. When Captain Underpants finished commanding underwear, He locked Sybil and back to Germ Germ Hall Elementary to save the day. The school was right now overrun. Cheering at the door followed the several evil toilet building. Don't worry, man. I won't let them eat you up, Captain Underpants said. As the toilet eat it up. Oops. Now only George and Hell and Captain Underpan were left. They stood on the front of the line of the school completely. Toilet, yum yum, eat them up. The talking toilet chase, yum yum, eat them up. Yum yum, eat them up. Yum yum, eat them up. We're doomed, cried Herbert. Never understand the power of underwear. Waiting out of the talking toilet and a hole only screamed, making hungrier and hungrier. If only could we, only if we could something, says George. Yeah, says Hell, continuing. Suddenly, George and Harold's face lit up the cafeteria food, she shouted, and ignore Suddenly, George and Harold's face lit up the cafeteria food, shouted the fastest building the waistband. Three heroes dashed to school. Chapter 15. Screen chip. Chip beef to the rescue. George and Harold and Captain and their pants got inside the school safely and closed the front of the door behind him. I think the toilets are outside, says George, but not for long to sell. Quickly ran out of the school kitchen sometimes we greatly suggly up, says George, holding his nose. What is that stuff? I think it's tomorrow's lunch, says her. Perfect, says George. Says, it's tomorrow's lunch, says Harold. Perfect, says George. I never thought 
Oh, that is the cream chip chips beads. <laughs> Together they blew the top and under their pants down in the car. Sailing, sailing boat. The road stood all rain and Scott cuffed the left foot into the underwear. Toward the top. To Try la la la! shouted Captain Underpants loudly. Three heroes all at once shout yum yum, eat them up, and chase on. Broke. Broke! Harold pulled the cart across the play. And beef drove the first to mount. Other sir. Wait, where did I be? Harold put the horse on. The fire once Captain on the pen. Joyce shot a glob of the scream, showing the beef into the first toilet's mouth. The toilet swallowed the whole Harold keep putting as Harold scooped another serving into the under a fire too. Quite Captain Underpants zip one the cafeteria food right into the second and pull it smell. The whole process repeat itself until every last toilet has swallowed at least two servings of cream chip beef. Says Harold Tuffling at Buffling. Don't worry, look, says George, pointing to the toilet and has bad swallow and being the eyes cross and turn it out shake green. Look out! What the hell? I think they're gonna get hurt. Harold. That just we did. George and Harold and Captain Underpants watch the toilet approach everybody cheap and came out. Then the toilet spread around in small circles alive and Harold easily too easy, says George. What do you mean, asked Carol. George put the comic out and the back show how we remember the past T2000 turned everything in front of the comic book to life. He asked, well, says George, as he pointing, as he pointing, Right. Well, said George, as he pointing to the turbo toilet 2000 in front of the cover. The comic hasn't been seen yet. Chapter 16. Suddenly, the turbo toilet 2000 came tracking in front of the door, where the trumble crash and earth rumbled, tongue twisting the store up on the heroes. You three men in the fool may have destroyed my army of talking toilet. You, you are out of cafeteria food. How are you gonna stop me? I tell how you. I'll tell you how, Captain Underpants said boldly and wiggly power. Wait, Captain, said, said Captain Underpants, cried George. 
You can fight that thing. The rip is with the piece. My fight bankly of third jealous and I have priest dunk. Captain underpants leap into the leap into the travel through the two thousand and Volan says help. Me too, says George. Chapter 17 The Extremely Graphic London Chapter Presents Part 1 in Flip, Flip O'Mara. And this is nothing thing. And. Ooh, like this child. Look, this. And the next paper is look like this. First he did it. Next he did it like this. Flip Omega 2. Can you do it at home like this? What left them here? Write them here and turn it like this. Ripple Mara, page 991. Look, like this. Chapter 18, Harold and the Purple Balloon Pen. Everything seemed hopeless. Captain on the past, Bill fall into the mountain, travel toilet. Now Georgia Hill, ha ha ha, laughed the powerful point. He ventured. Once the world not have anything to say about it, yeah, George. Losing her ran into school and locked the door behind them, and they first went forever the gym and even in the character defense. How can the art let's get away with the children's book? We. Getting ice and sit. Harold finished drawing and inspect carefully and hold out the boys turn the lock the pen machine laying side of the pond. Help the past past two thousand up dust come on past the old girl said George, we really need you now. now. Yes, I tell the fate of the penny of your hand. Chapter 19. The Incredible Robo Pungler. <coughs> George took Harold Harold's picture in the place. Now mushroom begins to shake and smoke. Lightning bolts. Jack clap and hold Matthew shook. Come on, Pasty, George shout over. A horrible noise came out. Final the small thing here. And Patsy 2000 caught a huge metallic ball, huge metallic beam, Belmont and Rose stood violently before George and Harold. It was the incredible Robo Plunger. Hooray, cried George. Way to go, Patsy Harold cheered. Now let's go outside and kick some turbo toilet tissue. Chapter 20. The Easterly Balance Chapter presents Part 2 in Flip O'Mara. Now, following this chapter, comes Debbie Naughty Dog.
chapter 21, the aftermath. The incredible robot plunger had defense. The evil type of toilet hell problem was not yet reaching the crumble mud of the TT2000. Pulling their principal. What happened here, cried Mr. Krupp. The school has been destroyed. Krupp, the school has been destroyed. The teachers all on course and standing in under it. Oh no, how is it? Captain Lippen must have gotten the total water and several crop. George took Mr. Cup's clothes to him. I'm ruined, Principal Crook. I'm ruined, Principal Crook. When I dressed himself, I'm going to be held responsible of this mess. I'm going to lose my job. Maybe not, says Harold. We can fix everything and clean up the whole mess. Yeah, says Harold. But it'll cost to you. Cost me what? asked Mr. Well, says George, we'd like to cancel your destination to suspension. And we also like to be a principal for one for a day, says Harold. All right, said Mr. Cook. You can really fix everything? You got a deal. George and Harold turned to spoke to incredibly level Ponger and said and said make us are youthful and pick the mess. Yeah, fix the school too. Says Harold. Your laser eyes can repair and Harold used his laser eyes to repair the broken window and stuff. And when you're done, says George Take us all at mind to fly up to Uranus and don't come back, says Harold. Chapter 22 To make a long story short, the robot I obeyed. Again, Chapter 22 After the Aftermath. Chapter 22 After the after the aftermath, the incredible Rowell Plunger's sword began out of the strange dream and Miss River was all about this evil toy that wanted to take over the world. Other teachers as well, says Mr. C Things turn right all now. Not quite, says George. It's playback time. Now chapter 24, Principal for a Day. For invitation, competition, destination, so on, proven, prohibition. Attention students, says George over the income. Following day, this principal, George, we are going to excuse from the classes today. We will be no homework no, or test, and anybody gets an A for a day, A plus for a day. That's right, the principal herald. Also, we're hosting an all-day recess outside. Or ho outside the complete free pizza and french fries, cotton candy, and, and a live DJ. Now go outside and play. Principal George and Principal Harold stole, stole the playground playground behind the glory storm and George George got a slice of a pepperoni pizza. While George and Harold make himself a banana slit the all you can eat the ice cream sudden bar.
It's good to be a principal, says George. Yep, says Harold. I wish it could be principal every day. Later, George would pay to visit the uniform, broking and spending sentences about Mr. Crop looking at the window, the ice cream and pizza. Oh, we... Oh, we sold some stuff, says Harold. What did yourself, asked Mr. Cook. You anchored on the desk of a leader and a teacher's lounge. What? Screamed, screamed Mr. Cook. Mm, I think we'd better leave now, says Harold. George and Harold left the tennis room. Hurley, Mr. Allen snapped the finger. Snap, come back here right now, she yelled. Oh no, says George. Did Miss Antelope just snap her fingers? Without a second, Mr. Crook dashed down to the hallway towards his office and he grew fully his face. Oh no, cried Harold. Here we go again, says George. Tra la la la! We finished the book. And bye, 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 bye.